Okay, this is Shannon in the PM jackpot of the TLC clinic. We're going to let it go through um, normal and then do a slow play review. Look at your pocket. Sit down. Talk to your heart. Go here. Go on around. Drive around. Sit down. Good. Whoa here. Help her a little bit. Good. Straighter, longer. Sit down, but don't pick her up too soon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here. It's okay. It's okay. No, those reins are entirely too long. And you're tearing your clothes off. <laughs> Good job. You caught your hat this time. Good job. 21.221. Okay, so now we're going to go through with your slow play. All right, so honestly, I think this was actually really one of my favorite approaches on your barrels. Um, the biggest thing I saw with your horse today was lacking in basics. Your horse really doesn't woe off body or voice. Um, she's too dependent on the reins. And is that a chicken before the egg thing or egg before the chicken thing? I don't know her past or you well enough to, to say. But either way, she's gotten way too dependent on the reins. So what I would do with her if she was my horse, I'd go back to lunging for respect and get her woeing off a lunge line or a round pin on the ground just off your voice. When you say whoa, if she doesn't, I would just bump her rope and have her look at you two eyes and disengage your hindquarters. Then I would go ahead and get in the saddle and do the same thing. I would just track around a round pin or an arena and I would just be moving along and sit and say whoa. And if she doesn't, I'd do a one rein stop and then go the other way and go off at a walk or a trot. Sit down, say whoa. If she doesn't, I do a one rein stop. And, and this could take an hour before she's stopping off voice and body. But um, you don't want to pick up those reins until last. And you want to sit down, say whoa, exhale, and then darn, she didn't stop. And then you do a one rein stop or um, a two rein stop and back her up, whatever the situation calls for. But, um, you know, you definitely need to use your reins as the emergency brake, not the regular brakes, until she learns to listen to that. So, but nicely, you came in here, you sat down. And you weren't pulling on her. You were actually bumping quite nicely there. But the only thing bad about that is now you're bumping. You have more bit on than she was used to. So her nose is really cocked in too much. And um, you really should be looking. You both should not be looking at the barrel. You both should be looking at this pocket that you want to be going into. Um, so that didn't help you there. But she tends to be... Um, giving too much face here and then her body's not coming with her and then you tend to keep your legs really tight and bunched up on your horse and your heels are always up so we need to maybe possibly have you look at English riding lessons or riding in a round pen riding without stirrups and let those legs just hang loose you know thinking heels down open knees open toes and just you know just let everything be loose uh, not holding on with your legs uh, that would help as well with your balance so it's a little bit of both um, right there you're coming in nice there's a that's a good approach there I like your pocket coming in um, you know let's see how you go into this turn um, that was good with your hand I would have liked to seen it just slightly lower than that I'd, I'd like to see it about right about there would be a good spot but then you get on the back side and where you shouldn't be looking down now you should be starting to look up um, and then you could just guide her around with your hand but see instead you're looking down and you're leaning in um, you don't want to do that and try to pull her around the barrel you should just turn your body and use from the waist down be bumping her with your outside leg to come around that barrel okay so then now she she's a little too wide you get up and hustle her good but then you have no rate so you just sat but you're you didn't two-hand check her you just went to the horn so those reins are really too long um i wasn't expecting you to go that fast when we made a bridle change so we should have shortened up your reins before this run um so that was my fault um but anyways the, you could have done a two-hand check here and helped her rate, but her rate was just way too late there. By the time she rated, you were way past the barrel. So then it became just a pulling match. And, um, and then, again, when you want her to turn, don't look at the ground and pull with your hand. Turn your body, look where you want her to go, and then use your outside leg to finish your turns. So 
Um, I would like you to go ahead and take this clinic as a going back to basics clinic and really just work on getting her more soft and supple in the face and the shoulder. I would like you to get her woeing off voice and body. Um, and then I would like you to go back to barrels and do rate work um, when you do do the barrels. I'd like you to stop her or slow down one speed before every barrel. Um, so basically when you get two, two strides from every barrel, you're going to stop there and then you're going to go slower, whoops, slower around the barrel. So if it's a, um, you're coming in like this, you're just going to keep her soft and supple. So you're going to come in straight, stop, and then you're going to just walk in here and not be using much, but just a little pinky and calf pressure just to soften her up. Inside pinky and inside leg just to soften her up for pretty circles. And then you'll go on to your next barrel. But the key is that you rate her by stopping or slowing down one speed there. And then you'll go ahead and let her walk. And as your leg gets to the barrel, you'll soften her with your inside hand and leg and just work on pretty circles around the barrels. So your goal is just pretty circles and straight lines with her and um, if you're going to do any pattern work, but I would recommend getting away from the pattern and like I said, get her working off your body more and get better at using your hands with give and take pressure, but I know it's hard because in that O-ring snaffle you were in with the nose band, um, you were getting calluses on your hands and um, by putting her in a bit with some leverage, she was a little bit more responsive, but remember, bits do not train horses horsemen train horses so you need to take and go back to basics with her and get those basics solid before you add more speed or maneuvers so again focus on your fluidity and your basics before you worry about pattern or mental game at this point in your game and if you want to come up for private lessons or training I would be more than happy to help you thank you